Hey guys, today we're, we're going to show you how to view or list groups in Linux. <coughs> so, um, the first thing, well, it's, it's worth being aware that groups are defined in the Etsy group file. So the first thing you might want to do if you just want to see what groups are there is say cat Etsy group. And this is going to give you all your groups. <coughs> now the way this works is you will have uh, a a group like say Samba share this is the group name followed by a colon X a colon and you're gonna see the group number right here and then you are going to see the users that are in that group so the user one is a member of Samba share now each user has a so right right now I'm logged in as user one so each user has a group named after themselves so this is the group named after the user that I'm logged in as so I'm implicitly a member of that group. Now let's take a look at something that has multiple users in it. Let's see if we can, if there are any actually here. So right here, the ADM group. So the group is ADM, the group ID is four, and we, we can see we have two users in it, syslog and user one. So that's basically how, you know, user, a list of users separated by a comma. So you separate the fields by colons and the user list is separated by commas. And that is, uh, <clears throat> so that, that's how the Etsy group file works. Now, if you're looking for a command to view groups, you can actually just say group or uh, groups like this. And it's going to list out a bunch of groups. It, it actually lists out the groups that my user is a member of. Now you could have had got you could have gotten the same results by grepping for user one, or or you could just say you, you could grep like this. Grep for user one in uh, Etsy groups, and it's going to give you all the groups that I'm a member of. Um, or you could just say groups, and it's going to give the give you the same result. So <clears throat> there you go. Um, you can also say ID to show to show my ID information. Now I could say ID dash N G. Now see already saying ID is going to give you the groups and the group IDs that I'm a member of. Um, N G is going to basically display the groups in a nice format like this. So another way to do the same thing. All right, so that that's for the current user. Now, if you want to specify a user, you could say groups, <clears throat> and you could say user one, or or you could say groups um, root. I'm not sure if I have a, a user two on this system. I forget user two. Yeah, so there's a user two. You can see the groups that user two belongs to. Um, what, what else? Uh, so you can, yeah, you can specify the user and, and same thing with the ID command ID dash ng. Oops. Um, user two and see all the groups that user two belongs to. Now you, you could also use get ent. So get ent group uh, user one or user two. So that's that that actually is going to show you every user that's in this group. So we're not we're not actually specifying every group that user one belongs to. We're saying who what users are in the group or basically show us all the details for group user one. So this is the group that goes the default group that's assigned to user one. Now let's say if we wanted to show a more interesting example or a slightly more interesting example, we could say ADM, the ADM group. So let's say ADM, and that, that'll give us the entry for ADM, and it shows us two users belong in that group. All right, so there you go. That's how get ent can be used. Um, I don't think I have web users on here. There was another example I was gonna use. Um, I think this is fine. This, is, this pretty much covers it. Now you, you could say, let's just, let's just take a look at the get ent command by itself. Or if you just say get ent group by itself like this. 
This is just going to list out all the groups. This is basically the same as if we had catted the Etsy group file. And that, that's that's basically it. That's that's how that's how you would um, you know view which group which users belong to which groups and and how all of that stuff maps out. So hopefully you found this useful or at least interesting. If nothing else, you might want to give me a thumbs up. Um, you might want to hit that subscribe button also and uh, hit the little bell icon. Up. Otherwise, uh, YouTube's probably not going to let you know when we come out with a new video. Um, we do have a lot of great stuff coming up on, and we've actually, if you want to check our list of videos, we've already put out a lot of uh, pretty interesting things, some more interesting than others. Um, we cover a lot of great stuff, um, coding, servers, hardware, software, 3D printing, electronics, uh, single board computers, robots, networking, all sorts of great tech related stuff that you're not going to want to miss. So if you, if you want your YouTube feed to uh, you know, be that much more interesting, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. But more important than any of that stuff, you're going to want to leave a comment down below, especially if you know something that I don't know. Um, definitely let me know, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video and reads the comments. Um, leave a comment that for them also. Any, any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, I probably want to hear it. So do leave a comment down below. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.